Anxiety is ugly. But what if I told you you could feel a lot freer not having to fight the ugly, unpleasant feeling? I am about to tell you how you can do that. Stay tuned. What's going on, Bucks and Dolls? This is Taiki, and welcome to Shishi Goat. I'm a native Japanese who loves animals and nature. In this channel, I talk about how to improve your life, environmental problems, and also some Japanese stuff. Make sure to subscribe, join her, and hit that bell to stay tuned. I'm aiming at 100 subscribers by the end of October, so I'll be really appreciative if you could do so. Thank you. Without further ado, let's begin. So, what I'm about to share with you today is three things you can do to reduce your anxiety so I know the feeling of anxiety it hits you for example when you have to give a public speech or when you have to ask someone out or when you have to decide which path to take for your future I used to have this too but now it's a lot weaker how to do with anxiety number one do not expect anything Expecting is usually not gonna get you anything. For example, if you wanna ask someone out with high expectations of them replying yes, you will have a great chance of getting miserable when they say no. It can be other than asking out. If you expect someone to do something for you, you won't take actions yourself. You will always be dependent on others which will prevent you from growing. Consider expectations as bad. How to deal with anxiety number two? Accept that feeling. It is important to accept that you're nervous. If you don't admit that you're nervous, what you are doing there is fighting that feeling back by telling yourself, I'm not nervous. This is like when you're panicking and moving your body too much when you're offshore trying to save yourself from drowning. What you should do instead is to relax your body so you will have energy, you will save energy and also float, which will increase the chances of surviving. But how do you accept it? I want you to do a simple exercise. If you think you're ugly, for example, you might be seeing messages saying that you're so ugly. You. I want you to replace that with a phrase. I think I am ugly. And then finally replace it with I am of the opinion that I am ugly. After thinking about this for even just half a minute, you will have realized that you're no longer caring about that anxiety or stress or the negative message you're getting. To be honest, I always had like a very hatred toward myself that I'm very ugly. My English accent is very bad. I my hands are awkwardly big. That's kind of bothers me when filming. Usually when I have a gestures, but now because of that method I'm using, you know, oh, I think I'm ugly. Oh, I think I'm ugly. I am of opinion of that I'm ugly or I hate my voice when I feel myself so it sounds very monotone even though I don't mean to sound monotone but because of uh, replacing with a phrase I think my voice is monotone I think my voice is monotone I think I have a weird voice I think I have a weird accent those kind of replacement helped me overcome that ugly stuff even though i don't love myself i don't hate myself anymore i used to hate myself for having this lips they're thick and i was like uh my insecurity but now i don't care that's my originality i think i have a huge lips and i think i'm ugly I am of the opinion that I have a huge lips and I am ugly. This thing and when I talk like this sound bothers me too. I have a lot lot to be bothered by. 
and my smile I hate my smile too but now I don't really what I'm trying to say here is this replacing quotes technique is very good for any insecurity that you're having so pick one insecurity that you have and apply it to the technique and you will see results all right this is my favorite one how to deal with anxiety number three meditate meditation is said to reduce your anxiety and also improves your concentration now this technique seems difficult you might think you have to empty your mind completely but this is very easy actually what you have to do is just sit straight okay close your eyes and breathe and I want you to pay attention to the breathing if there's something pops up in your mind which is likely to happen I want you to bring your attention back to your breathing in my case what I get often in my mind is that what if I don't grow on YouTube because I'm aiming at becoming a full-time youtuber so I have like um, what if I do this for 10 years and still haven't made money that's like a, my concern I o o often get so what if I have that thought I just pay attention to my breathing okay this is how you meditate the more you meditate the more you will be immune to stress I want you to do this daily even just three minutes I do meditate for 20 minutes every single day since I had always been very sensitive I have many experiences with depression and anxiety and I couldn't live without an antidepressant but after I started meditating I no longer suffer from mental illness to be honest I wouldn't be able to keep up with YouTube if it wasn't for meditation taking antidepressants is okay only for short term it's not gonna solve the problem radically you have to solve the core problem otherwise you have to stick with the antidepressants for the rest of your life so try these three things that I described in this video and you will see results and you will be a lot freer you will have a happier life I want you to do this I want you to implement this thing okay not just watching but you, I have I, I want you to I, you have to do this thing okay you have to do this thing that's it for today thank you so much for watching if you liked it please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to join the horn and hit that bell to stay tuned I want you to remember one thing that you're not fighting alone I am here to help you improve your life and be happier if you need someone to talk to talk to me you're not alone talk to me and I want you to do these three things as well first off start with meditating every single day okay meditate every single day I want you to do this if you're suffering from anxiety depression nervousness whatever that gets in your way okay until next time